we had to work out how to stop a deadly virus spreading across Europe and we had to make up new laws to stop it. Crisis Point is a European Parliament role-playing game that allows children to explore the European Parliament through the eyes of European citizens from countries that the children may never never have visited uh, as MEPs and as European you're commissioners. All little special ID passes. And that's the person you're going to be. Crisis Point was originally trialled by myself in primary schools in South Lanarkshire and I thought that it worked so well that the next natural step for it would be to use it as a, a transition project. We all know the transition from primary to secondary can, can be quite a scary event for the primary seven pupils and we're very happy to become involved in this project this week, Crisis Point, which was a transition project between S1 secondary here at Holy Cross and the two primary schools, Brides Boswell and St John the Baptist Uddingston, both of whom are within our learning community. Children are, are quite nervous about going to secondary and meeting new people, who they're going to meet and what kind of place the high school was going to be. We thought it'd be a bit scary moving up. The things I was worried about was my exams and bullies. Before this I felt quite nervous that I wouldn't meet new friends and like, oh, this might happen, that might happen, so I was quite nervous about that. So this transition project was all about getting children used to the surroundings and used to the children that they'll meet. When we designed this project, one of the fundamental parts was about group work, about getting them to talk with each other in different situations. We had one day where they were in their own primary school and they were doing different activities so they would be comfortable, um, but also out of their comfort zone when they're talking with people that they don't know. Then they would visit another primary school and then the high school. The idea of having the build-up days to the actual crisis point day at the high school was really to allow the children to work together to explore Europe and the European Union so that they had some background knowledge. They knew what MEPs were, they knew what European commissioners were, they knew where, roughly where these countries were that they were going to be European citizens from. So we then decided, well, if we're going to do that, why don't we use real cutting-edge technology, really engage the children? And that's when the QR codes and the waypointing and the, the likes of the Dragon's Den panels, these kind of things, were then used to stimulate the children and just engage them to give them some background knowledge before they actually turned up the Holy Cross on the Friday. In each group there's a mix of pupils um, from each school, Holy Cross, St John's and St Bride's and it was good to be working in a team. It was great to see children from St Bride's and Bothwell and St John the Baptist and Uddingston and Holy Cross going from small groups who obviously didn't know each other, weren't familiar with each other, with limited conversation, which didn't last very long to be honest, then developing onto a group with ideas and opinions and a group that was happy to stand up and pitch their ideas and their thoughts to other groups and it was a wonderful experience for them and it was great for, for myself and for the other adults in the room to see that development and that progression and also that confidence. Having been involved with the groups today, what I've seen is some really high quality discussion, some good thinking skills and I think really importantly good relationships being built between the S1 pupils that are involved and the P7 pupils themselves. I think that visiting the school today obviously will be of great benefit to the pupils and then what's so good about this project is that they've visited other primary schools as well and made contacts with pupils that will be joining them in first year next year. During this transition project I've met like new pupils from other schools who I've worked really well with and uh, pupils from the school that I'm going to who have helped us out as well. It's, it's also been good for looking around the school that we're going to, going to be going to and like what our next six years are going to be like. Taking part in the Crisis Point project has been a real uh, boost to me because it's made me learn that everybody in a group needs to have their own say and everybody's going to have different perspectives of what you're looking at to question people if you don't think it's the right way to go and that uh, you've learned to put forward answers and be a little bit more confident. I would certainly recommend a project like Crisis Point. It has allayed so many fears this week for all the primary seven children getting to know at least some people who are going to be in their year group and also having the opportunity to come to the high school and see where they're going to be working from August. The success of this pilot will depend on the feedback we receive from the children and the adults involved. 
From my point of view, I think it was a huge success. We achieved everything we wanted to achieve with it. We brought the children together. We ran through a successful European pilot project. And I think the next steps for this pilot will be to look at other learning communities and ruling it out there.